Hello family and welcome back to our channel, Deb Chanel's 48's World, where we're featuring the family affair. Honey, baby, we got Phaedra Pauls and we got her where we don't want to be seeing her. We want to see her on season 13 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But it has been bopping through social media here and there. Some other bloggers have definitely uh, put the story out. And I was just waiting. I don't know, just waiting for time, I guess, hell, when I got time to come out and um, tell y'all about it. Because um, sometimes, you know, they say things and then it don't necessarily transpire. And I didn't want to get your feelings hurt. But I'm like, what the hell? Might well come in the family affair and talk about it, okay? Because we wanted her on Real Housewives of Atlanta. We don't want to see her sitting over here on no marriage boot camp. Hell, she ain't married. But again, then again, these reality shows ain't really what they are um, pretty much made of. Because, let me see. Who we can say? Well, Portia was married and she got divorced. But did she start off married? Yeah, she did start off married. Um, Sheree was going through a divorce. The heck, Kim wasn't no housewife. Kim Zosiak, she was just messing around with Big Papa. Uh, and she was a, a true peach holder, full-time peach holder. There you go. That's one example of uh, not being true to form Housewives of Atlanta or Housewives of Potomac, Potomac or any other housewife franchise that is out there. You don't necessarily have to be a housewife to hold a full-time peach. Hell yeah, come the main person. Got me over here stuttering. Candy Burrs. She wasn't married when she uh, joined the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, so that was another good one. Uh, to put you in the perspective that sometimes in name only, that's all it is. But it don't represent too much a, a, a hill of the bean here or there. Okay, but yeah, she's over there trying to... Um, well, I ain't going to say trying to because they've been taping with her, okay? So, she's a part of that season. I'm trying to get my daughter to basically tell me when their season starts. Hopefully, it hadn't already started, but we'll get on into this article, and then maybe it'll tell us. But, yes, People has brought this article out. Hurt my feelings. Yes, it did. Because I'm like, how's she going to be taping on two reality uh, shows? And can you do that? Or one in confl conflict with the other? You know, do they have to sign contracts or something? I don't know. Anybody know? Can you be on two reality TV shows at the same time? Uh, taping here, taping there, taping everywhere. I don't know. Get in the comments and let me know if y'all know anything about that. And the laws and the bylaws. Or what you can, what you cannot do when you're fooling with these reality shows. Okay? But yes, Fadja Park and her man, um, Medina Islam. I think, what is he? He ain't a hip-hop player. I think he's a, was he a soap opera star actor? I forgot what he was in, but I think he was either, uh, uh, I think he may do some side modeling here and there. But if anybody can get in those comments and tell me what his claim to fame is. Because damn, Phaedra was a reality star at one point with Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then she went back to doing, but she never stopped doing her attorney work. And then she's supposed to be a mortician. So I don't know what Phaedra got going on around him. Because most of the time I've been seeing her, you know, in social media. You know, showing off her body and stuff of that nature. But I don't know, like I always told y'all when I did little short excerpts of, uh, what do you call it? commentary on her she loves the limelight she loves being a uh celebrity whether it starts out as reality uh celebrity or not i mean she's very highly intelligent but it seems like she just keep biting off the apple of this entertainment field and like i said it must pay some lucrative money to sell your soul that much where a decent uh honorable job such as being a lawyer and come with much prestige, okay? Entertainment lawyer at that. Um, and then being a mortician, which you know they make him bang for the buck, okay? Just like you a gynecologist bringing the children in the world, honey. You make some lucrative money taking them out the world, all right? But I guess she just got tired of smelling all that embalming fluid. I don't know, okay? But let's get on into this article. Um... It was written by Dave Quinn. He's over there at People Magazine. He's one of their journalists, I guess, or article writers. He titled his article, Real Housewives of Atlanta Phaedra Parks Returns to Reality TV in Marriage Boot Camp. 
Hip Hop Edition, see the cast, okay? After leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta back in 2017, ahead of its 10th season, standout Phaedra Pauls is returning to reality TV. People can exclusively report. So see, and this was on May 20th, they put this out. So it must be coming up in June, I'm guessing. Uh, where we, we're the first, we're the second day of June. So maybe, I don't know, when does Merit Boot Camp usually air? Is it like during the weekend or is it like Thursday? But let's keep reading. We might find out what we're trying to figure out, okay? But uh, they write up, she's back. After leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2017, ahead of its 10th season, uh, Phaedra Parks is brought back exclusively, being reported by People, to a marriage boot camp. Um, the 46-year-old Southern Belle and mother of two is part of the new season of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition, which premieres this July on WE TV. Okay, so we got it. We got a whole uh, month to play before we had to get back and review these uh, shows uh, for edification for our family members over here at the Family Affair. So, okay, we're going to be looking forward to that. July is when it comes out on WeTV. So, anybody want to catch it with me, go on and watch it with me. Then we can come back and talk about it. All right. We're going back to the article. It says, Parks will be on the show with her boyfriend, rapper, and actor, Medina Islam, whom she has been dating since March 2019. Well, I knew he had acted. And uh, I didn't know he was no rapper, though. Can anybody tell me what what songs he put out so i can go try to listen to him because i i don't know i don't know if this show fit phaedra but i guess she can she can pretty much weather a storm here and there she can handle kenya more all day every day and that's a tornado right there so i, I guess she can't handle this show but it just feels kind of odd you know what i'm saying like girl what are you talking about? okay i'm gonna say my judgment i'm saying my judgment till i see the first episode okay but anyway going back to the article it said they'll be joined by willie taylor and shanda dency a love and hip-hop hollywood fame love and hip-hop new york star tihara jose tihara jose and look me in my eyes rapper vadu model tony calvert and Grammy nominated MC Corrupt, as well as Mom to Be and Love and Hip Hop, Hollywood Hazel E, and male model Devon Waller. Okay, I, I like Hazel E. Uh, Tahara, I'm thinking, I think I know who she is. I'm not really sure. I gotta look her up. But okay, okay, we got somebody to look at. We got somebody to look at. All right. Going back to the article, it says, All will go through intense sessions with Merritt Boot Camp. Dr. Ish Major, known for his unique sensibilities and no bullshit, tough love, and divorce courts judge Lynn Toller, uh, whose drills whose drills help boot campers move past their deep trauma. It won't be easy for them either. Judging from a season, uh, judging from the season the first season's teaser, which people is also premiering. Things appear to get so tense at one point that a brawl breaks out. We're ready now. Okay. All right. I wonder who gonna be who gonna be zooming who? Who gonna be fighting who? Yes. That's gonna be interesting interesting enough. Yes. Okay, all right. All right, so back in September. Parts gush to people about her relationship, saying Islam is a really great guy. He's very calming and soothing and mild-mannered, she said. I always dealt with the boy, the bad boys, and he's very opposite from any guy I've ever dated. So that's refreshing. The two met on a dating app, though Parks explained she knew him from around town in Atlanta. You know, he used to be on a show here. So we had a lot of mutual friends, she explained. One of my best friends is one of his best friends as well. Well, on a side note, okay, coming from Deb. Okay, Deb Chanel. Honey, she, he used to be engaged to Claudia Jordan, which was also uh, a cast member of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Of course, she didn't last but one season, I think it was. And then she went on by the wayside. But, yeah, she's picking up Claudia Jordan's sloppy seconds, I guess. Okay, okay. Okay, Phaedra. But, anyway. Um, 
Go, uh, going back into the article, says the biggest struggle has been managing a long-distance relationship, something the two would likely be addressing on marriage boot camp. Uh, it's hard to, doing the long distance, especially by coastal, because L.A. is a super long flight outside of just the time difference, says Parks, who lives in Atlanta with her two sons, 8 and 10, and Dylan 7. But we've been making it work. He's an actor, so he's New York quite, so he's in New York quite a bit. And then he comes to Atlanta, and I get to L.A. to see him as well. Okay. We got a, a, a good date. And I thought it was. It wasn't on the weekend. I thought it had been around Thursday because I used to watch something else on Wii TV. They, they shows usually come on like a Wednesday or Thursday or a Monday. But it says Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition premieres Thursday, July 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wii TV. So let us all family members, those who can, let's partake of that. Let's get our own look see. See how Miss Phaedra Parks is going down. Because, you know, to tell you the truth, I don't see why she couldn't compete or she couldn't be partaking of both Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as Marriage Boot Camp. That would be a very, very big lucrative deal for her if she could still land on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because I think they should be taping around June and July. And this has already been taped. So I wonder, would that still be considered a conflict of interest? Y'all get down in them comments, fam, and let me know, okay? But, yeah, that was put out basically for Leslie Barber. Yeah, she asked me something about it, and I told her I'd get around to it. And I um got to get around to seeing, checking the laws on King Moore uh, marriage license to see see if I can find out something that's suspicious about that. <laughs> okay, guys. But that's just, um, you know, I'm just curious like that. And one of my other family members wanted me to check it out. I hadn't forgot about it. Just I had the time. You know, I had the time. But anyway, y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe out there. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And yeah, we need to get into Wii TV or stream it. If you don't have it, I don't know how you're going to get it. Other than listening to me after I look at it. I think we got Wii TV here. We got cable. We should have it. So, got to chat with my daughter, you know. She know more about them stations than I do. I just be like, where Bravo at? Because she got this little, what she bought me. Well, it came with the package, I should say. Where you can talk in a little remote control. You can say Bravo. And then shit come up. Bravo channel. You ain't got to flip the little two buttons or three buttons to get to the television station. And so, I tell you, technology is taking over. Okay. But that's all I have, fam, for this particular video on Miss Phaedra Pause. Trying to slide past us and get another deal closed. But I'm like, honey, yeah. The real hot wise of a lot of one talking then, but bring you back as a friend and not a full time cast member at the time y'all were going through negotiations. Yeah, I would have struck where the fire was hot too. I would have went on over to marriage boot camp, got that money. And if you had to wait out and not be seen for season 13, you got to wait to 14. Okay, I'm there with you. God willing, we'd still be here with all the unrest we got going on in this world right now. But, yeah, okay, I'm glad to see you back on the reality TV scene, Thaddeus. I knew all the publicity you were doing, self-marketing in yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, and keep your figure in check and, and, and still rubbing uh, elbows uh, or pillow talking with some of the execs to make sure your name is put out there for next season on somebody's reality show. You were ready. <laughs> <laughs> ready, willing, and able to make it happen, honey. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't mad at you, Phaedra, girl. I ain't mad at you, honey. Get your money. Get your money, girl. But like they say, all good money ain't good. And all that glitter ain't gold. Those who can hear, hear. Those who can see, see perfectly. All right? But that's all I have, fam, for this video. Y'all get down in those comments. Let me know what y'all thought about Miss Phaedra Pauls being on boot camp. Marriage boot camp. You know she ain't married. I tell you, them false, fake, foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty act activity of giving us a story. A reality show. Talk about marriage boot camp. And ain't none of them people married up in there. <laughs> I tell you. The shit they have us look at. Okay. The shit they have us look at sometimes. But God bless us all. Okay. We have to repent. Each night. Alright. But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care of yourselves. Good night.